Good morning YouTube, our micro-learning topic today is on necrosis. If you are new here, a warm welcome, we are a group of retired professors behind Team Biotech Whisperer making bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Introduction to Necrosis Necrosis is the pathological process of cell death that occurs in response to injury or disease, in contrast to apoptosis, which is a controlled and regulated process of cell death. Necrosis is characterized by the sudden death of cells and the release of their contents into the surrounding tissue, leading to inflammation and tissue damage. The term necrosis comes from the Greek word necros, meaning dead body, referring to the characteristic appearance of necrotic tissue. Types of necrosis There are several different types of necrosis, each with distinct causes and characteristics. Briefly we have coagulative necrosis, liquefactive necrosis, caseous necrosis, and fibrinoid necrosis. Coagulative necrosis One of the most common forms of necrosis is coagulative necrosis, which occurs when blood flow to a tissue is suddenly cut off leading to the death of cells due to lack of oxygen and nutrients. This type of necrosis is characterized by the preservation of the tissue architecture, with the dead cells appearing as a firm, pale, and opaque mass. Liquefactive necrosis Another common form of necrosis is liquefactive necrosis, which occurs when the cells of a tissue are killed by the action of enzymes or bacteria. This type of necrosis is characterized by the breakdown of the tissue, leaving behind a liquid mass. This is often seen in cases of bacterial infections, such as abscesses, where the bacteria produce enzymes that digest the tissue. Caseous necrosis A third type of necrosis is caseous necrosis, which occurs when the cells of a tissue are killed by the action of enzymes or bacteria and the cell contents are not fully broken down. This type of necrosis is characterized by the formation of a soft, cheesy, and yellowish mass. This is often seen in tuberculosis, where the bacteria produce enzymes that digest the cells but leave the cell walls intact. Fibrinoid necrosis A fourth type of necrosis is fibrinoid necrosis, which occurs when blood vessels are damaged and the blood vessels walls become infiltrated with fibrin, a protein that is involved in blood clotting. This type of necrosis is characterized by the formation of a fibrin-rich mass in the blood vessels wall and is often seen in conditions such as vasculitis, where the blood vessels become inflamed. Other forms of necrosis In addition to the above types, there are several other forms of necrosis, each with its own unique characteristics. However, regardless of the type of necrosis, the end result is the same, the death of cells and the release of their contents into the surrounding tissue, leading to inflammation and tissue damage. Triggers of necrosis Necrosis can be caused by a variety of factors, including physical injury, infection, ischemia, inflammation, and exposure to toxins or radiation. It can also be a result of underlying diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and autoimmune disorders. Secondary Mechanisms Complicating Necrosis The process of necrosis can be further complicated by the presence of secondary mechanisms such as inflammation, infection, and tissue repair. Necrosis can lead to the activation of the immune system and the recruitment of immune cells to the site of injury which can further contribute to tissue damage. Additionally, necrosis can also lead to the release of toxic substances such as enzymes, which can cause further damage to surrounding tissue. Quick Summary In conclusion, necrosis is a pathological process of cell death that occurs in response to injury or disease, characterized by the sudden death of cells and the release of their contents into the surrounding tissue, leading to inflammation and tissue damage. There are several different types of necrosis, each with distinct causes and characteristics. Necrosis can be caused by a variety of factors, including physical injury, infection, ischemia, inflammation, and exposure to toxins or radiation, it can also be a result of underlying diseases such as cancer. <laughs>